the teabagging is all over, except for the cleanup. And that will be my last intentional double entendre on this one, at least until the end of the segment. Our number two story tonight, the sad reality behind the corporate-sponsored tea parties. Visual proof that this is not about spending, deficits, or taxes, but about some Americans getting riled up about now about these things, riled up by the people who cause these things, and finally about some Americans who just hate the President of the United States. According to both the conservative organs, the New York Post and Washington Times, see, there was a double on, another, another double entendre coming, the protests only drew, quote, tens of thousands nationwide, despite relentless 24-7 promotion on Fox News, including live telecasts from several locations, like Fox's Neil Cavuto, caught yesterday off-air, estimating his crowd in California's capital at 5,000, and then on-air, claiming it might have been 10 or 15,000. Despite Cavuto's live show with radio talker Michael Reagan there, Sacramento police put the crowd at just over 5,000. Quote, I wouldn't say it was among the largest we've seen here, but 5,000 is pretty large for the West Steps. And then there were the protest messages, seething with hate. Cavuto calling that hate bipartisan, quote, they hate Republicans who waste money, they hate Democrats who waste money. That claim put to the test in Pensacola when an unemployed blogger named Jeff accepted an invitation to speak to Florida. All right, thank you very much. I want to start also by honoring the service of our veterans, uh, our current service members, our Gold Star parents. Thank you so much for what all you've done for the Here. Back in 2000, there was a budget surplus in the country. And during the next eight years, it was destroyed by the profligate spending of the Bush administration. And so here we are today, here we are today in a situation where I have to do this. Cheer if you make less than $250,000 a year. Just cheer. Congratulations, Pensacola teabaggers. You got spunk. And despite the hatred on display, few of you actually violated the penal code, but teabagging has now petered out. Taint what it used to be. And when you co opt the next holiday, Fourth of July, try to adopt a holiday food that does not invite double entendres like, you know, Franks and Beans. On a more serious note, we're now joined by actor and activist Janine Garofalo. Good to see you. Thank you. You know, there is nothing more interesting than seeing a bunch of racists become confused and angry it's, at a speech they're not quite certain what he's saying. It sounds right to them, and then, and then it doesn't make sense, which... Let's, let's be very honest about what this is about. Mm -hmm. It's not about bashing Democrats. It's not about yeah. taxes. They have no yep. idea what the Boston Tea Party was about. That's right. They don't know their history at all. This is about hating a black man in the White House. This is racism straight up. That is nothing but a bunch of tea-banging rednecks. And, they, and, they, and there is no way around that. And, you know, you can tell these type of right-wingers anything and they'll believe it mm -hmm. except the truth. You That's tell them right. the truth and they become, it's like showing Frankenstein's monster fire. They become confused and angry and, and highly volatile. Mm -hmm. That guy caused in them Brilliant. feelings they don't know because their limbic brain, we've discussed this mm -hmm. before, the limbic brain inside a right winger or Republican or conservative or, or your average white power activist, the limbic brain is much larger in, in their, in their headspace than in a reasonable person and it's pushing against the frontal lobe. So their synapses are misfiring. Is Bernie Goldberg listening? Russ. Yeah, because Bernie might not have heard this when I said this the first time. <laughs> so, Bernie, this is for you. It is, a, it is a neurological problem that we're dealing with. Well, what do you do about it, though? I mean, the, our, our friend in Pensacola there who played them like, right. a, like a three dollar fiddle yep. uh, and led them right down the garden path with yep. nothing but facts, and then they went, wait a minute, yeah. that doesn't sound like a Rush Limbaugh. Right. If, you can't, if you can't get them to make that last leap to, what are we all doing here? Howard uh -huh. Johnson is wrong. Uh, yeah. You know, how do you, how do you, how do you break through that? I don't think you do for most of them. This is a path. It's almost pathological or elevated to a philosophy or a lifestyle. Yeah. And again, this is about racism. It could be any issue, any port in a storm. These guys hate that a black guy is in the White House. Yeah. The, but they, they immigrant bash. They pretend it's 
taxes and tea bags. And like I said, most of them couldn't probably tell you thing one about taxation without mm -hmm. representation, the Boston Tea Party, the British imperialism, whatever the history lesson has to be. But these people, all white, for the most part, unless yeah, there's some people with Stockholm Syndrome there. Or, 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 and I didn't see them. They were in the back. They weren't near the cameras, which is uh -huh. bad bad strategy on the part of the, of the right. people who were staging this at Fox. True. And Fox News loves to foment this anti-intellectualism because that's their bread and butter. Mm -hmm. If you have a cerebral electorate, Fox News goes down the toilet, you know, very, very fast. But it is sick and sad to see Neil Cavuto doing that. They've been doing this for years. That's why Roger Rails and, and Rupert Murdoch started this venture is to disinform and to coarsen and dumb down mm -hmm. a certain segment of the electorate. But what is really, uh, I didn't know there were so many racists left. I didn't know that. I, I you know, because as I said, the Republican hyphen, the conservative movement has now crystallized into the white power movement. Is that not a bad long-term political strategy? Because even though mm -hmm. your point is, you know, terrifying that there are that many racists left, right. the, the flip side of it is there aren't that many racists right. left. They're the minority. Well, I mean, they're, literally they're, tens yes. of people showed up to the to this thing across but, but the country. If you, but if you spear your television network or right. your political party towards a bunch of guys who are just looking for a reason to yell at the black right. president, yeah. uh, eventually you will marginalize yourself out of business, won't you? Or at well, least oh, in, no, in, no, there's no, no short... Here's, here's what the right wing has in... In, 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 there's no shortage of the natural, natural resources of ignorance, apathy, hate, mm -hmm. fear. Yeah. There, as long as those things are in the collective, conscious and unconscious, the Republicans will have some votes. Fox News will have some viewers. But what else have they got? If they didn't do that, who, who, who's, who's going to watch? You know, I mean, they've got they they have tackled that elusive clam den clan. Clam, I said clam. You know, the clam demo. The 18 to 35 clam demo. Clan, clan with a K demo. But, you know, who, who else is Fox talking to? I mean, what is it? Urban, older white guys. Yeah. And, and, the, and the girlfriend, and, you know, the women who suffer from Stockholm Syndrome again. There's a lot of Stockholm Syndrome, is what I'm saying, ultimately. What else you want? What else you got? What, what do you want to know? What happens if somebody who's at one of these things hurts somebody? Oh, that is a, an unfortunate byproduct since the dawn of time of a volatile group like this, of, of the limbic brain. Violence, unfortunately, may or may not ensue. It always, it, it's like I said, the Republican Party now depends upon immigrant bashing and hating the black guy in the mm -hmm. White House. Will people act on that? It's not new. But, you know, uh, Fox doesn't mind fomenting it. Michelle Bachman doesn't mind fomenting it. Glenn Beck doesn't mind fomenting it. Lou Dobbs. Lou Dobbs. Oh, man. He sure doesn't mind. But this is, this is their, what have they got if they don't have this? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like an identity politics of the worst kind. They'd have peace in our time. If is they Bernie didn't still listening? Bernie doesn't listen. Bernie, Bernie G. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie listened for one about two minutes last week, and that was oh, it. That was his he doesn't year. watch your show. No, 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 no. I meant in general. Mm -hmm. That was his year's contribution right. to the actual political. Oh, I was hoping discourse. I could move up the rung from five to Let's at least three. Janine Garofalo, number five, comedian, <laughs> actress, political activist, uh, and the expert on the limbic brain. Great thanks as always. Very much thanks to you.